We have run out of time for today, but do you have any final words for people to wrap it all up, put a bow yeah, on it? Yeah, let me just put a bow on it in the uh, 60 seconds I have left. Um, I had a little ending here that I'll just kind of leave you with really quickly. Um, and that is that after all this stuff about HTML and CSS and all these things in Dreamweaver, and I tried to do a little wrap up on that a minute ago, one of the things that I always come back to with clients and students is you cannot spend enough time planning your site. So if you're feeling kind of overwhelmed by all of this and you know you have to go learn more HTML and CSS, it's absolutely true. And there are lots of places to learn and I encourage you to find as many great teachers as you can. But it's not a bad idea now to take a break, step back and think about the content of your site too. Think about how you're going to actually plan the site, what you're going to put in it. Because what most people underestimate <coughs> is how much more time you will spend on the text and the images and the other elements of your site than you'll actually spend building out the page. Once you learn that basic HTML and CSS and you get a little more comfortable with layout, it's the content where you really have to put your energy. So I, I have some really simple set your goals, think about your audience, create a list of the content you want and a task list to get it done, and set a schedule, give yourself a real deadline. And that can really help you get through. I have some questions that I'll leave in this PowerPoint that I encourage you to think about, just answering these questions as you think about the content. And then I'll just leave you with this. One of the reasons that I love teaching web design is because it's about empowering people to go out and tell their story. And whether that's for the photography business that you have, and I know you were telling me at lunch you know, that you've evolved in the way you take pictures and what you take pictures of, and websites can evolve with you, which is really fun. No website's ever finished. Whether you photograph small children or grown people or infants or whatever your passion is, you can describe that on your website, you can tell that story. If you're doing a website for your church like you are, or for any other business or organization, the web is full of all the stories people tell. And that's what to me is so exciting. It's not the HTML and the CSS. That's why I have to have things to throw at people once in a while. Because my gosh, this stuff can be boring. And I try to have beautiful photos on the screen when I'm teaching. Because yes, this stuff's pretty mind numbing. But it's like learning to scuba dive. You gotta get through those basics before you get to dive in and see all the beautiful coral reefs. So put in a little bit of time learn those basics so you can tell your story in the best possible way and then when you do tell me because I collect them email me when you get your site up and show me what you've done because that's why I do this because it's so fun to see what all of you create look for me on the web friend me on Facebook follow me on Twitter find more tutorials at digital family stay in touch and look for me in more classes here at creative live thank you thank you thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you. Janine, you were awesome today. We had so much fun with you, Kenna and I, as well as the yes. global audience. So global audience, thank you so much for joining us. And just a quick little gift basket of internet love to you from the internet. Uh, Wes One says, she is awesome. I tell you something else. If you ask her a question through email, she'll respond. She's amazing and really trying to help you, and you can tell. And uh, STL says, mind blown online. <laughs> Thank you. CJW says, after this class is over, I'm going to get Dreamweaver from the Creative Cloud and build a sandbox. Which is excellent. I mean, that's really the goal here today is to give you all a foundation just so that you can go and play even further. And so if that is something that you want to do, this course is $99. However, today and through this week, it's available for $59. Again, that includes all the bonus materials. I think one of the most important of which is the tools, the assets that Janine has been working through all day so that you can have your own Janine sandbox. She'll be <laughs> in the sandbox with you. And you can utilize that to deconstruct, but also to have something to build. So you can look and see all the different elements that you need for that site that we've been working on today that comes included. Also included that Janine threw in at the midway today is the PowerPoint presentation. That is a great um, additional thing to have along with the videos, along with that video content, additional notes, additional resources. So those are highly valuable as you put them all together. So in addition to just today's course, so we have the full week. We have a full six day event that is Adobe Creative Apps for Beginners. So in addition to just purchasing this course, you can also purchase the entire collection, which would be $594 if you were to purchase it 
individually, each of those six. However, you can purchase it right now for $149, which is truly incredible. We've seen a lot of comments about that. We've seen a lot of people really excited about that. And again, so many of you that are new to the whole Creative Cloud, this is a great, great way to jump and dive right in. So those buy buttons are beneath uh, the screen that you're watching right now, and those are easy to get to your account. Janine is throwing stuff. I think that means it's time to go. <laughs> Everyone, we have a very, we still have three more days of the week. We have Illustrator for Beginners tomorrow with Erica Gamet. Lisa Snyder is back for Photoshop the next day. And we round it all out with After Effects for Beginners with Jeff Foster. So thank you again so much, Janine. It's been a fabulous day. And we will see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific with Erica Gamet. Thanks again. That's a wrap.